Diffuse deposition modeling is sort of a, a new concept for us in the design world. Traditionally, you design components to be an assembly and it comprises several different parts. But using fuse deposition modeling allows you to go straight for the uh, finished part and integrate all the different features that you would normally have as subcomponents into one monolithic structure. So we approached the service bureau to uh, have a part design that would fit in this very complex area where we had to get the airflow over a rigid barrier. So, and it had to maintain the volume uh, as it was going over the barrier. So the shape had to be very complex. And so this product had to be made using manufacturing technique that was not normally used for aircraft components. We're very excited to be a part of the Orbis project. Uh, it's a remarkable charity that uses an airplane, an MD-10-30, uh, to fly around the world. It lands, it has a screening process for candidates for eye surgery. Uh, they'll take uh, viable candidates on the plane. They'll perform an eye surgery on board. The actual eye surgery is televised to the front classroom area where local surgeons and nurses, anesthesiologists, learn how to perform surgeries. I'm sitting here in the staging area for a large engineering program that will convert this aircraft into a flying eye hospital that will, will go around the world and help uh, restore sight. We're gonna enter a modular hospital. They're basically big boxes that when they line up in here, they form a new interior, but it is a replaceable interior. So if in, in 10 years Orbis needs to reconfigure with the, with the latest technology, they roll this one out and they roll the new one back in without interruption of service. Part of the process of that is a 9G barrier that protects the flight crew and surgeons from all the palletized hospital modules in the back. Being able to integrate a number of different mounting features as well as the primary part really sort of changes the way now that we're thinking about designing parts and being able to integrate more features into a single part instead of having a number of different components. You know, our designer designed it and then the 3D printer uh, beautifully reproduced it, but it was not just beautiful, they also provided us with the, uh, the, the laser measurement data to great precision that we really knew we had what we asked for. And it fit beautifully. I think it was the first or one of the first parts on site. So that had been just a really great cooperation that we had. SIE uh, was able to work with the Service Bureau and create this beautiful design that is not only visually pleasing, but functionally uh, works perfectly for the situation. And uh, this was a great collaboration that allowed this project, uh, Flying Eye Hospital for Orbis, an amazing uh, humanitarian project to go forward and be completed. And seeing them screen little kids for uh, eye surgery and the way that it changed those little kids lives after uh, being able to see for the first time, I'm very proud to be a part of uh, being able to change people's lives through my job as an engineer.